Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is um, finding solutions to any kind of problems. So there might have been some kind of news or some kind of uh, information that has come your way. You've got this lightning bolt over here um, that's uh, been something sudden and you've got Uranus over there. So it's been, a, a you know, Whatever this news is or whatever this revelation is, it spurred you into action to doing things. So you've, you've heard, uh, maybe it's been some kind of news that's been upsetting. And uh, you've got the ending of um, rather difficult situations over here uh, that is going on. So there's uh, a lot of transformation. So whatever this news is that you had, that you received, it caused you, spurred you into action, and may, you may have ended that relationship because of that news that you heard. It was something upsetting. And you've been going through a lot of difficulties as well. You've got Saturn, double um, Saturn uh, on this particular card. Whatever situation you have been in has been very, very restrictive uh, and very limiting. Maybe this person that you've had been dealing with has been very dominating, um, and it's been a very, very toxic relationship. Maybe this person has been very manipulative. And now you've heard some very, very difficult news and you've decided to end that particular relationship here. Now, um, in the past, you've got uh, the sign of Saturn and this is you feeling as though you've been very restricted. You've got Saturn on this particular card, but also that time is running out. You've got that hourglass over here. So something has come and you know you maybe you wanted this relationship to go in a certain direction and it's not been going uh, in that direction fast enough for you and maybe, you know, you feel as though time, or you felt as though time was running out, and this is why you know you've been questioning this relationship, and maybe this person that you've de been dealing with has been very, very critical, uh, and you know this has led to that crisis situation that you were dealing with. So whatever's been going on between you and this person, there's been a lot of maybe mental anguish going on over here because you've got Mercury over here, and you know arguments going on over there with that uh, Uranus. So whatever's been going on um, <coughs> has led to a crisis. And this has led to, you know, this, this really, um, uh, you know, difficult information that you received. Uh, something really happened. Uh, and you've been trying to find, um, you know, solutions to those particular problems. Uh, but, you know, it was something that was quite drastic, some kind of information that came all of a sudden that caused a lot of problems. And this has caused the ending of that relationship. Um, now, going to the future, you've got the sign of satisfaction going on over here. And it's a double Mars um energies over here. It's a very aggressive energy that you're having to deal with. Um, and you are looking to the past and looking at whatever's happened in the situation. Maybe you have had a lot of disagreements with this person. And maybe they're, you know, somebody that um, was very, um, they were not good for your self-confidence and that affected it. So you all are having a, a lot of power struggle going on with that relationship. And going into the future, uh, you know, uh, the future card of here is being uh, legal, uh, dealing with the situation in a legal way. So you might be uh, taking this particular relationship. It could be a marriage, and then you might be ending it in the courts of here. So bringing in legalities as well. But you are you are also being you know focusing your energy. You've got Mars and the Sun over here. So a lot of powerful energy over here going on, and it seems like you know you are focusing on yourself. You're taking back your control, and you're taking back your power, and you might be considering taking legal action against this particular person. They might be very, very aggressive because of that double Mars energy going on over there, and you might be thinking about uh, taking this up uh, in a legal way or seeking some kind of legal counseling uh, to deal with this particular relationship or dealing with the ending of this relationship. So those are the energies for that particular week or those particular two weeks. Now I'm going to use the Arcus Arcanium card for the uh, tarot for the main read. I have put it in the description box. It's quite a rare deck to get a hold of. Uh, but I have put them put it there in the description box. Okay, so you've got the hangman over there. It looks like you've made a lot of sacrifices for this relationship. And you know, so you've been going through a lot of suffering as well. Because not only does the hangman make 
sacrifices, but he also goes through a lot of suffering and, uh, you know, having to question himself and, you know, think about what has been what has been going on. So a lot of reflection going on as well over here. And spending a lot of time by yourself and feeling as though everything is upside down right now. Now, this is also waiting for things to happen. So you are waiting for things to happen, but, you know, you feel very powerless in this particular situation. You have made the sacrifices and you are going through suffering uh, within that situation, but feeling a lot very powerless and you are waiting for things to change change. Now, um, what's going on with you? You've got that four of rods and you've got that nine of rods. So you did have a good relationship over here with the four of rods. You know, it's it's almost like a family card, a very stable relationship. Maybe you're over an equal footing, equal power. You're building up something together. Maybe building up a house together or, or establishing yourselves in a relationship that was going to last. You know, you had a family situation going on over there. There might have been, you know, this looks like there was a marriage as well. So you might have been married to this person. Now you've got that nine of rods crossing it. So that means that you were doing all the work in that particular relationship. It seems like, you know, you've got all of this um, where you were doing all the work, all the nine rods, but also there was a lot of fights and arguments and it seems like, you know, there's a very defensive um, posture over here where there was so much of problems going on and you had to defend yourself all the time. And there were lots of battles. With the nine of uh, uh, wands, it's about being that wounded warrior. It's about fighting all the time and being so tired of fighting all the time. So whatever this particular, this uh, stable relationship was that you had together seems to have started coming apart at the seams because you're all fighting so much and you know, it may have, have been a lot of power struggle going on there as well. And it seems like, you know, you may have gotten ra rather tired, you're fed up of all that uh, fighting and arguments and problems that you were facing. So uh, it seems like, you know, there were lots of issues that you were dealing with as well together. Now, you've got that Six of Swords in the past. So this is about having a lot of problems and issues and trying to move away from that. And you have been trying to do that in the past year. It seems like every time you have something, you've been, you know, trying to forget about it and move away. But, you know, in the back of your mind, you do, it seems like you do want your freedom. You've got all these birds flying over there in the back. So it looks like maybe, uh, you know, you have some issues um, about being in this relationship and it looks like you wanted to move away from it because there was so much of drama. The Six of Swords is preceding the, uh, following the Five of Swords and the Five of Swords is about, you know, being taken advantage of, being, you know, there being a lot of verbal abuse going on and it seems like that had been going on and you just wanted to move away from it. Now, um, in the last three months, it looks like maybe you've, um, you know, got your financial independence. You've got this Queen of Discs over here. So it seems like, you know, you may have gotten gone back to work Work or you might the job that you might have had you may have gotten a promotion but you're definitely much more independent than you were previously and you know it seems like you're taking control of your finances but also con taking control of the situation you may have you might be feeling more empowered um, in the last few months and this is the reason why you're tired of all the fighting and issues that you are dealing with and you've had enough of it really so what's in your mind? The Queen of Wands over here, and this is definitely taking your control back. You can see she's got this huge club in her hand. Um, so, you know, you have been, um, in, you know, taking that control, taking your power back and standing up, standing very firmly for what you believe in. So you're not, uh, you know, taking the back seat anymore, it seems. Now you've got the Justice card over here. It seems like you want a legal ending to this particular situation and you want your freedom. So that's coming in for you. Uh, you can see this gate being opened over here and you can see, uh, you know, uh, the gates lifted. So you are getting your freedom and it looks like you are going to be uh, using the legal system in order for you to get that. So some kind of legal uh, issue or a legal ending to this relationship, a divorce probably coming up for you. So you've got that three of rods over here. So, um, you know, it looks like you might, um, you definitely have a lot more power over here. You have, you know, you might be uh, spending a lot more time with friends um, and, you know, um, socializing a lot more with this. And also you might be spending a lot more time in your work situation or doing a lot more travel to do with work. And this is where that freedom issue comes in. Maybe this person was very restrictive of you doing that and uh, maybe they had problems with that. And uh, now that you're taking back your control and power, this is where you want um, to be. You want to be somebody who travels and has their freedom, um, you know, going, um, you know, meeting more people from foreign countries, it seems. So what's going on around of you? 
you've got the Knight of Swords over here. So you've got two cards sitting with legal matters. So it looks like you've taken this particular situation to court and news will be coming in for you quite quickly about that. So this case seems like it's going to get resolved pretty quickly. You're going to be severing ties with this person quite quickly. Now, what you want is to get your balance back. It looks like you want healing from the situation. You're trying to, um, you know, you've learned a lot from whatever's happened and you're trying to get yourself you know get things back together again uh, balance yourself again with this temperance card this is also a card about wanting your freedom and having to travel you know it looks like this is a card ruled by Sagittarius and this is about broadening your horizons uh, and broadening where you you know your whole um, world really so you it seems like you do want to travel you want to get to, to meet a lot of people you want to socialize a lot with this three of uh, rods and with the temperance card being ruled by Sagittarius it also looks like you want to travel uh, you know maybe you have undergoing some kind of spiritual revolution as well with this temperance card and you're trying to you know um, get all your ideas together I mean, you've changed quite a bit it seems uh, and you you have a new philosophy in life so going into the future You've got the Page of Cups over here, the King of Discs, and you've got that Ten of Rods. So the Page of Cups, some kind of new offer coming in, and it looks like there might be an offer for travel over here. You can see there's a lot of ships here. So you might be meeting somebody uh, on your travels. Uh, and, you know, this is some kind of communication that comes in. There's that kind of offer that comes in, an offer for friendship or an offer for a long-term relationship coming in. And this might be somebody who is a foreigner or somebody who has traveled quite a bit. This person might be also involved in, you know, some kind of education, uh, teaching, um, but they make some kind of offer to you. So this is an invitation that comes in for you, uh, you know, a social invitation that comes in for you. You've got the king of discs. So this is somebody you work with. Um, that is going to be bringing in this offer. Uh, they seem to be in a position of authority uh, and, uh, you know, they seem to be, you know, they might be working with money or they might be somebody who um, is right up there, uh, you know, the top of the career ladder. So they're a businessman maybe. Um, you know, there's somebody also that could be involved in education with this king of discs. So it's somebody uh, that you're working with or you have encountered uh, in your work life and they seem to be making you some kind of offer. Now, this is the end of your difficult cycle as well. You're going through that. It seems like you're taking your power and authority back. You're laying down all those responsibilities you had and you are going to, you're making plans for the future. So it looks like you are moving away from this relationship. There's a legal ending to it, uh, you know, and there's definitely a decision that comes in for you. You're going to be doing a lot more travel, it seems, because that's what you want to do. And it seems like you're going to be meet, meeting somebody along one of your journeys. And this person has an offer for you or makes an, um, um, an offer to you. Uh, and this allows you to move away from all those problems. So you are laying down all those uh, fights and you know, issues, power issues that you had and struggles that you had. And you are making plans for the future and moving on. So whatever that relationship is, it looks like you're ending it completely. You're just waiting for, right now for things to change. Um, to get sorted out because you felt like you made a lot of sacrifice in that relationship and it didn't pay off. And you've got your personal power back with that Queen of Wands as well. You're taking back your control and you are now ready to move on. So there's a lot of travel that is coming up for you, but also dealing with legal issues as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. <coughs> Excuse me. Huh. So you have the nine of Raphael, which is the nine of cups. So it says, make a wish, dreams become a reality, a joyful time in life. So you definitely are getting what you want. And it looks like there's going to be whatever you want as far as relationship goes, because this is the nine of cups. Uh, you know, you, your wishes are going, to become tr uh, are going to be coming true. You've got that five of Raphael, and this is walking away from difficult situations. And everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace opportunities for happiness, search for the silver lining. So you're leaving behind that past, and you are moving away from it. You're, you've turned your back on that old relationship, and it looks like you're going to be moving away uh, from it. And then you've got that seven of area, which says you invested wisely, have patience, and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So it seems like you know, you're going, you've turned your back on, on that past. And um, with that seven uh, of uh, area, which is like the seven of pentacles, the next relationship that you invest in is going to be a better relationship. It looks like it's going to have um, you know, a better payoff. Uh, you're going to um, get what you want with that nine of uh, Raphael. 
and uh, with the seven of area which is like the seven of pentacles it's like whatever you invest in is going to pay off so uh, if you decide to go down um, a new relationship it looks like it's going to be financially very good for you this person that you're going to be uh, encountering is going to be uh, you know, in a very, very good position, very, very stable, because the king of discs is, uh, you know, usually uh, discs represents, or pentacles represents the earth signs, rather stable relationship, and it's going to be, it could be even with a Capricorn person, because the king of discs represents Capricorn, so that could be the relationship coming in for you, and this person is very, very financially stable, very, very well off, so that kind of energy is coming through. It could be any earth sign person, but it, it it's most likely a Capricorn person, but also it could be, if it's not um, a Capricorn sign, it could be somebody that's in a, a good financial position as well. And with the seven of area, it's about financial investments. So this person, uh, you know, is reasonably well off and uh, there are good investments. They're quite stable. And whatever you invest in as far as time, effort, energy, it looks like it will have good rewards. There's good returns from that. Um, so you are waiting for change to come in. Maybe you're just waiting for this legal situation to resolve and so that you can have your freedom and do more travel. And it looks like a new relationship will come in for you uh, once all of that is settled. And you're, you know, you're putting an end to all those those burdens and problems that you were dealing with. Maybe it was just too much of drama and you just are not really willing to face it anymore, especially with that nine of rods. You know, it looks like there was a lot of drama going on over there and you're not willing to deal with it anymore. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.